Nick is like minimalism goals right here. He's going on a trip to Nashville for a couple days for work and all he's bringing is this beard oil that I made for him with essential oils, bulk shampoo, this isn't zero waste but it's like a travel toothpaste and his toothbrush and that's it. There he goes everyone, show him your backpack for your minimalist travel adventures. One backpack, but you don't have a laptop with you. But you have a huge camera. Okay, bye Nick. Bye. Bye guys. Have fun. <laughs> Okay hey guys, Nick is officially in Nashville. Oh, and there are our little hats right there. Um, but anyway, I'm actually going to spend the weekend in Long Beach with my family just because I work alone from home all day and I just prefer to actually like be around people when I'm not working <laughs> and it'll be fun to hang out with my family um, this weekend. So that's what I'm gonna do. I decided that I would show you guys like what I'm gonna pack on this little weekend excursion so we'll start with my beauty products so this is a little basket that i've been keeping my beauty products in it's pretty much everything and i thought i would just go through it with you guys so first things first let's talk about all of my meow meow tweet stuff because i love them and i have quite a few things i'm also planning to bring my meow meow tweet lip balm with me but i think it's already in the car or in my purse or something so that's why that's not here right now but i have all this stuff some doubles of some things because this is my little deodorant but i don't know if you can see in there but this is like almost done and I actually have quite a bit left oh it's this one i have quite a bit of the underarm primer left oh it's dark in here so it's having trouble focusing come on sony anyway i have a little bit of that left but i'm probably just oh and so that's the old one this is the new one that i recently got and i'll probably just bring the old one to use it up this weekend so i'll move that stuff over this is a face mask that I just recently tried from them. I really like it. You guys know I have really sensitive skin, but the ingredients on here are really soothing. So I used this a couple nights ago um, when Nick and Kyle went out. I don't know where they went. They went out to some boy place for dinner and I decided to chill at home because, well, I'm an introvert. So I put a mask on and I hung out. So I'm probably not going to bring this with me on this little trip because I just used it, but I do really like this. Very soothing. Um, let's continue with skincare stuff. So this is obviously empty, but I like to refill this container with jojoba oil and that's what I use to cleanse the makeup off my face. Um, just a hobo oil. I can also use it as a moisturizer, but actually this is my moisturizer Which does have a hobo oil in it, but it's mixed with the Do doTERRA immortal essential oil blend So I talked about this in my most recent favorites video and I said that I usually put it in a roller bottle Which I do but I decided to try it out in this little container. It's actually where's let's see it's actually just an essential oil bottle that I took the label off of, obviously an empty one that I took the label off of and put this little dropper in. And I like this a lot better, I like it a lot more than the roller bottle because it feels much more like a serum, which is what I use it for. So I love this, obviously it smells amazing and has lots of skin healing benefits for me. Speaking of skin healing, I also have this little blend from doTERRA of essential oils for spots. I have a couple spots on my face right when I get this fancy new camera where you can see like everything on my face at all seconds. So anyway, I'm hoping that this helps with the little pimples that I have on my face right now. Um, I also pulled this out of my little basket. I like to use eucalyptus in my showers sometimes, just a couple of drops, but I'm not going to on this trip, so I'm going to leave that behind. Let's see what else I have in here. I don't want this to be like super long and boring, so I'm trying to go through this quickly. I love my frankincense hydrosol, but I don't think I'm going to need it on this trip. And I love how I keep calling this a trip when really I'm just going to be like 30 minutes down the freeway for a couple of days. I can survive without this for two days, I think. The next thing in here is my um, sun protection. 
It's like a tinted moisturizer with sunscreen. This is from My Shell. I really like this. I actually got this at the Natural Products Expo, so I didn't pay for it, but I like that it is in a little glass bottle. Um, it goes on really sheer. I'm wearing it right now. It doesn't match my neck, but I've just been doing that anyway. Um, it's almost gone, so I actually need to figure out a new um, sort of foundation routine situation soon. Whoa, it opened it with one hand. Um, so this is very sheer um, and very gentle on the skin, but I just use this as an all over cover. And then I use this sort of to conceal under my eyes and any spots that I have. But again, it's very sheer. So I think this weekend I might actually go out and look for a new natural foundation. And if I do, I'll obviously take you guys with me. I'm thinking about trying to go to the 100% pure store in, I don't know if it's in Carson or um, Torrance or something. I'm gonna try to go there because I've never been to one of their like brick and mortar stores before and I love the brand and I would love to swatch the foundation on my face before I buy it which is the main reason that I would go there. I've talked about these a lot in my videos before it's nothing new but I just love that the ingredients are all really soothing and moisturizing and they come in these little glass containers with metal lids so you can recycle them easily. And then I have this brow product from 100% Pure that I've been using. I really like it, but I'm bummed because I dropped it and I broke the lid, so I won't be able to reuse the container, unfortunately. Um, let's see, so that's there. This is my sad little brush that I've been using for my eyebrows. It's small, but it works, so that's that. I have my Alima Pure foundation brush that I actually just washed, but then I used it again, so it looks dirty. I used that with this. Again, I've talked about this in videos before. I love it because the compact's refillable, but unfortunately, on this last time, I bought the wrong color, and it's too light. Look at that. It's too light even for me, and I'm pretty light. So I just use a little, it's gonna last me forever now, because I just use like the tiniest bit of it if I need to like conceal my nose or something. I can't use it all over my face because I just look like a ghost and it's not cute. Up next I have this mascara from 100% Pure. Again, I've talked about this before. I hope this isn't too boring for you guys. This is my absolute favorite natural mascara. It's lengthening, it doesn't clump on me at least, and I really, really like it. I also have this little pencil from 100% Pure. I like it. I um, had to get rid of all my other eye pencils because I got that sty in my eye a couple weeks ago and this is the only one that I wasn't using so that's the only one I have left so I've been using it but honestly since that whole situation I haven't really been wearing a ton of eye makeup and I haven't been hating it so there's that oh I actually do have one more essential oil blend this is called Clericom this is great for um, hormone support um, I especially love to use it around my period it's just really supportive and also helps helps with cramps and it's just great so I will put that up there um, I have this that I don't need on this trip and I have a rubber band I have dental lace this is just like a zero waste um, dental floss it isn't vegan because it's made out of silk but I prefer this over plastic dental floss because plastic dental floss is just so bad for the environment and for the animals um, so I use this. It comes in a little glass container and it's been working well. And then I have my little um, tinted moisturizer oops, in the little compostable tube as well. I think this is also sort of on its last legs, but it's had a good run, so yes. Oh, and I actually have another rubber band in there because I do my braids, like you guys know. So these are all the products that I'm taking with me, all of the skincare up here, and then all of the makeup that I'm taking with me this weekend. And I have my little stasher bag that I'm going to put it all in. And I think that's everything. So yeah, I'm excited for a really low-key, fun weekend. I'm going to vlog every day, hopefully. And when I get back on Monday, I'm going to put together a hair video for you guys. Because um, I know some of you were asking for one. I don't think I'm going to have a time to like pull everything together for that before I leave. But next week when I get back sort of on my normal schedule at home, I'll be able to do that. I'm excited about that because I've actually never done like an official hair video on my channel. Um, I did like 
that braided crown tutorial thing which like wasn't really a tutorial at all but it was something um but yeah i'm excited to share that stuff with you guys and i think i'll do a video about um my like zero waste laundry stuff because someone was asking about that too and let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see um yeah I have a list but I don't have it on me right now so let me know and I'll add it to my list and hopefully get everything together before October's over so yeah this is all my stuff this stuff didn't fit in here but lots of stuff did Oh, actually, I need to take this out so I don't forget to actually fill it up. So we'll put this in here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, guys, the sun is going down and the lighting is getting harsh. So I'm going to just share with you the clothes I'm going to bring on this trip. This is going to just be a really short video. And then I'll share outfits and everything like as they happen. In the next couple days so yeah these are the clothes I'm thinking about bringing so I don't think you guys have seen this piece this is actually from Betta that brand that I've clearly been obsessed with recently again this is made out of tinsel which is the wood pulp fabric and the reason that I love this dress and the reason that I purchased it is that it's two dresses in one so as you can see there's black on the inside and then there's this denim fabric on the outside I need to take this tag off because I'm actually gonna wear it inside out tomorrow with this little shirt underneath it the shirt sort of interesting I got this secondhand at crossroads it actually has this sort of weird cut so it has this thing it's meant to be tied in a knot but sometimes if I wear it with jeans I'll just tuck that into my jeans since I usually wear high-waisted pants and I just really like how thin it is. It's super comfortable. I have a white one that I'm actually wearing right now. And they're just a great everyday sort of t-shirt style. So I'm thinking about wearing these together for one outfit. Those are my PJs. And then over here, I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm going to bring these really cool wide leg pants, again from Veta, or my ride or die jeans, high-waisted jeans, and a vintage t-shirt. I'm sort of gravitating towards these, but this top also looks really cute with these, so I don't know. I know this is sort of crazy for a weekend trip, but I'm actually going to pack everything in this suitcase. This is Nick's yellow suitcase that I use sometimes, and I'm just going to do this so I don't have to bring like a ton of other bags. I can put all my clothes in this side, then my like laptop and camera and stuff in this side, and then I can just have one bag instead of a bunch of different ones. So yeah, that's all I have for this video. I'm excited because tomorrow I'm actually having lunch with Beth from B. Jones Style before I head down to Long Beach. So that should be really fun. I'm excited to see her again. And yeah, I hope you guys are well. I hope you liked this really short sort of casual video. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.